Hey, good morning, guys. This is Johnny Sunshine Phillips coming to you from sunny Sarasota, Florida. It's a beautiful day today. I'm off to a great start. I've got the uh, yard guys here. They've already trimmed up some hedges. Uh, they've cleaned my roof off. Um, they're going to continue to trim hedges for me, get it all picked up and uh cut the grass all the way around and i should be in good shape i think these trees have stopped dropping all their crap uh i'm not leaving they're leaving today not me eh, little pun anyways i got a couple jobs to do uh, i got a leak on a kitchen sink for a, a customer of mine woman I put a water heater in for her you probably remember her she uh, she owns a nail salon really nice lady hard working uh, and then another customer of mine uh, he's a Canadian guy they own a uh, they own a condo down here in Sarasota and they come down for six months out of the year uh, so I'm gonna go fix he's got a cola toilet and he said that the fill valve is sticking which happens on those fluid masters uh, I don't know what the deal is all I know is they're cheap enough I don't even mess with them I don't take it apart I don't do anything if it's not working I put a new one in and hope that that works uh, but I always change out the supply hose uh, it's just my standard op operating procedure and uh, I'm also gonna, I asked him if it had a tower in the middle of it or a regular flapper, he said it had a tower. So I carry those, uh, those Kohler or O-rings or gaskets and I'll replace that. I'll check the handle on those toilets. The, uh, it's a special handle, it's a side mount handle. Uh, so I'll get them hooked up. But that's it for right now. I'm I'm hoping I can get these jobs done and get back here uh, while I got a couple guys working because I always like to be here because I help them for one thing and then I make sure they're getting the stuff that I want done. Uh, these guys are very trustworthy and they do a great job. I actually paid him before he did the work uh, in case I'm not around. Uh, but. I've been using this guy for years and he's just a hard hard worker and uh, a good man good family man anyways uh, let me head on up here and see what we can get into today guys it's Monday I don't have my uh, it appears I've unplugged my my clock so I don't even know what day it is or what time it is, man. Some of you will say I never knew what time it was. But anyways, let me get my shit hooked up so I got a clock. Hey, guys, I had to go to Home Depot the other day. Uh, I used the last one of my adapters that I use for uh, an R39, <clears throat> which is half inch OD. Uh pipe and my adapters I, I use them on 39 valves this is what it is you screw this thing on but see inside of there there's a little white uh, like a Teflon or uh, a little gasket and under that gasket it's flat these are it, you can easily be confused by one that this side this side is a flare and it's not gonna work man it's gonna leak like a bastard and if you you buy it you're gonna be screwed so if you do buy some of these which are great because all the new valves come with this uh, size on the hoses uh, and in the old days they were running 39s you know they were running half inch supplies or th 3 8 copper half inch OD compression um, so I use these to adapt th those valves or you can change the valve out but a lot of them are soldered on and they just it's a nightmare I mean it's not fun to do 
if the valve's working you can take the bonnet off which I did the other day a guy called me because he was gonna change his own faucet and uh, he said that the valves were leaking they wouldn't shut off I said well you can just change the guts out if it's a brass craft valve and he said well and I was literally like right around on the next street so I said I'll come over man and sure enough they were brass craft valves and they were uh, R39 rough brass and o OCR no not OCR just R39 they were sweat valves and I took the bonnet nut the packing nut loosened that unscrewed the valve uh, handle and I cleaned it out with a wire brush inside on my drill and and uh put it all back together but i had to use i had to use these adapters but i'm just telling you man make sure you don't buy the wrong ones make sure you buy the ones that are for compression uh they have that little white gasket you have to look in the package and then when you realize you got the right ones just grab as many as you want but i've made the mistake of of picking up the uh the flare ones and I've probably got six of them on my truck. These things aren't cheap. They're about fucking seven, eight bucks a piece at Home Depot. And I'm just trying to save you some money, save you, save you the hassle of using it and it not working. Uh, you could probably put some sort of a gasket in there, but I just, you know, why do that when you can just buy the right shit? So keep your eyes open. I actually saved the guy two guys were in there they were working doing a remodel and they needed one for a uh, they needed two of them for a kitchen and the guy from Home Depot handed them the ones that were flare and I said let me look at them man because I'm always always in everybody's business I guess you know I'm just that's who I am but uh, I told him that's the wrong one man that's not gonna work for you brother and they were very happy that I saved them a trip back to Home Depot. And the guy who works there learned a lesson. I explained to him the difference between the two. Because, you know, he's a good guy. He just doesn't know. Like so many of you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me get rolling here, man. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, guys. I've got some sad news. really sad the fucking bre breakfast Nazi's gone man this place has been bought by Rogers Market which is that other market that I go to uh, up on Boniva to get breakfast but uh, this place sucks now I mean, it sucked before, but now it's horrible. I'll never come back here again, man. That guy's been here forever, the fucking breakfast Nazi. This guy walked up. I said, he said, you want biscuits and gravy? I said, no. I want an omelet. He said, we don't do omelets anymore. I was like, well, what happened to the old guy? He said, uh, yeah, he's gone. I, I don't know where he went, uh, which is probably not the truth but uh you know things change man this place has changed over time now uh this place called rogers market is making a big play on on uh gas stations and little little markets in this area she's buying it's a woman i've talked to her man she's uh She's about a hundred years old. She's got all kinds of. Uh, she looked. She could be on an episode of Botched. Let me just put it that way. But she's a nice lady. But man, I, I like this place. So I'm sad today. Uh, it is what it is, man. There was a line in a song in this ever-changing world in which we live in. Somebody finish the song and tell me what song that is. We'll see how much you're paying attention. That goes way back. All right, guys. 
so this is the package freeze frame do whatever you have to half inch female OD by 3 8 inch OD adapter ever built from Home Depot compression the other one is flare make sure you get the right one y'all these things are invaluable man that can really stumble you up or or you can use a a compression reducing compression coupling which is a mess you know it's just more joints this is nice and clean I can only tell you don't over tighten it because uh, you could you could crack that gasket and uh, you're fucked if you do that you have to Teflon the living crap out of it like roll up the Teflon and get it in the threads but you can always tighten it up more guys so don't tighten it up to the point that you break it if it's dripping give it a little twist anyways that's it that's my tech tip for today uh, I'm heading to Dunkin Donuts man get my sausage egg and cheese sandwich man on a bagel and some iced coffee because I can't buy an omelet anymore Another check in the fucking lead Florida column. Ah! Ah! Alright guys, so I'm here at this job. I've got a uh, customer, a regular customer, who's got an issue with their cola toilet. I uh, said so the fill valve is not working properly. It's not, it's sticking sometimes. So I've got a fill valve. I've got a 9 inch, a 12 inch, and a 16 inch supply tube. I've got uh, the gaskets for the tower. Uh, I'm going to replace that while I'm there. I've got my tools for hooking up uh, the supply. I've got my channel locks, a couple rags, and uh, I do have Kohler uh, trip levers, but he wasn't complaining about that. But if it, if it is a, a problem, I've got a I've got three cord trip levers somewhere. I'll leave it at that. I don't know where they are, but I'll find them if I have to. Uh, so, anyways, I'm ready to run up here uh, and get this guy taken care of. All right, so this guy's pretty ingenious. He uh, I can see there's stuff in the bottom of that. But this was not raising. So he put a little ribbon on it. And it was work. You know, he was able to tug on that a few times. Get it to work. So, uh, uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. I, I'm drinking an iced, iced coffee out in the truck so see if we can get this guy so I didn't bring my vacuum up uh, just this is a second floor condo to get the water out of the toilets with a sponge. That's how I was taught. Alright, so... like to run my finger around uh, the seat you know just because it could be some buildup on it 
uh, it's a simple thing to do. So I've got, got the new gasket. Pretty easy to put on, guys. I'll show you for the people who haven't done it. Basically, you want to just slide it in into the recess for it. Make sure it's in all the way. Stick it back in. That's it, man. The handle seems to be in really good condition. So throw that out. So I'm going to take this hose off. I've got a bunch of rags. And I have my bucket here, which I'll collect most of the water, but. What I do is I just hold this, push down on the ball cock, uh, to keep the water in the tank from pulling out. people are very cool man. he's a doctor surgeon and he's just always happy and and I can always call him for some free advice and he's right whenever I ask him something he's spot on with his Diagnosis. He must have been a very good doctor. So the first thing I do when I change out a ball stock is I'll take the old one and I'll measure it up to the new one. And you can see that they're the same. So I'm just going to put the new one in. Whoa, what's wrong with this? This thing's broke, you guys. I don't think that's going to work, man. This thing could fill with water. I don't know. I guess it never will be below the water, but uh, I'm going to give it a try because it doesn't look like any, any different than the old one. Let me see if I can get that off. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, I think that's going to be good. So I've already dried the hole off inside. Like I said before, I always I always put the hose on first. Mm. 
I just like to wiggle it around, get it in there good. So I'm gonna use a tool that that I made. This is my tool for that nut. It's I have a metal one, but this plastic one's a lot lighter. Easy to use. Run these nuts for the ball cock. That's that. I said I'm going to change the holes. I always change the holes on a toilet, especially an old one like this. Looks like it could be the original uh, supply hose. And honestly, guys, for three, four dollars. good money look at this I don't know how many times that's been tightened up and by who so it's gone okay so this one the non edge is not gonna work so I'm gonna go up to the 12 inch and uh, this is another tool that I made for tightening up these these supplies. Works really good. It's kind of just an awkward position under here, so what I do is I I really don't have to get under there with channel locks. And, you do want to hold this. You don't want to spin the ball cock. That's that. So these, these cola toilets are notorious for this hose coming out. So just make sure you get it in there all the way. Alright, so I'm ready to... Open the valve all the way and then tighten down the uh, packing nut. When you're done. Mm. The reason I really like to use my vacuum uh, on on quick draining this tank is because it it just it's an opportunity to get any debris which is a lot in the toilets. So those two tools that I use the plastic This one for the nut on the bottom of the uh, ball top, and this one for the hose. They go together, they go in my tool bag, and it's nice and neat, light, lightweight. If you drop it, it's not going to crack a tile. That's the big. A big plus of those plastic tools. So, so this thing came right up to the to the level that it was at. 
I'm going to lower it just a little bit. get to be about an eighth of an inch below the top of that overflow yeah see that's where I like it and as this ball cock wears a little bit it'll creep up just a little but it's never going to overflow at that adjustment so we're good man Another job done. Take all, my, take all my garbage with me. I don't like leaving it in their garbage cans. try to leave the place as clean or cleaner than I found it so I'm always wiping things down almost obsessively but I remember a long time ago a builder when I first started plumbing he was an older guy he was the actual builder and he watched me work one day and he complimented me on my neatness and he said neatness counts man neatness counts and uh, I remember that and I just that's the way I've always been but that was just a, an affirmation you know that it was noticed people noticed that stuff they definitely notice if you're a slob and you leave their shit a mess. I just did the old fucking bungy dip. Toilet's clean, no build up in it. Sir? Sir? Hey Jay, is there anything else you need me to look at? You know, um, I oiled it, and so I think it's okay. The handle on the other one got stuck one time, hmm. and, and, and it was just a matter of flipping it up. Oh, but the I, handle on the toilet itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I put some oil on there, and I haven't had a problem with it since. Yeah, that's usually what it is. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. All right, so I put a new hose connection. I'll show you the parts that I replaced. I put a new ball cock in. I put a new gasket. Okay. That's going to make sure I don't have to come back in a year. I replace this. And I put a new uh, supply hose on. I don't like to reuse these because this plastic gets old and it could break and flood the place. So okay. it's just my policy when I take a toilet apart. That's fine. I replace that. I think anything you think is going to be safer, that's it perfect. It will be. And it's a metal nut. It doesn't have a plastic cat, uh, nut. So, so, all right. We're all set then. You are. Now, is, is that the one you replace it with the same mechanism? The same thing. Yeah. Look. It's actually in the same company. It's a fluid yeah. master. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Perfect. 
You're all set, my friend. Thanks a lot. Now you turn the water off, right, when you leave? Yes, we do. Okay, that's a very, very wise thing to do. Oh yeah, we turn it off. All right. We, we have a fellow that comes in and checks the place too. Right, once every a couple, month, you every said? Every couple weeks. Yeah, every couple weeks he comes in. Oh, good. Them. All right, my friend, we're all done here. Oh, thanks a lot. Where are you? 600 bucks. <sighs> hey guys. I just finished this toilet repair. Uh, great people, good customers. Just like to work for them, you know what I mean? They're great. Uh, so, just as I finished putting all my stuff away in the truck, I got a call and this one is, uh, I guess, this woman and her husband tried to change out their shower head maybe possibly to a handheld shower uh, and they snapped the shower arm off in the wall not a big deal I've got many styles of, of easy outs to get those <laughs> nipples out and then they want to do the same thing in the other bathroom uh, so to preempt them breaking it, I'm going to go ahead and put another arm on that. Uh, and a discussion. They call that a head arm and flange. You know, you can buy a box. It's got the head, a new head, an arm, and a flange. Uh, they just want the arm and the flange, but I need to remove the broken part. Uh, and she's got a couple other items, but literally they're a mile from my house. So I'm going to head back in that direction and knock that out and then uh, hopefully get over to this uh, woman's house that owns the nail salon and get her taken care of today. She's got family coming in and uh, she's just got a small leak under the kitchen sink. It may be a cheap basket strainer. Uh, Watch what you buy when it comes to basket strainers. Um, they usually are going to require, a cheap one's going to require a call back in a year or so. Especially those cheap ones with the big nut that you screw on. And as you're tightening it, the gasket's squishing out. And uh, they're just a disaster. They shouldn't even be able to be sold. They've ruined many, many cabinets. but. Anyways, I'm going to head back there and uh, see what we can do. See if I can help this lady and her husband out and uh, make some change, y'all. Make some change. Let me know how much you would have charged some of you for that toilet repair. Obviously, it didn't even take me an hour. Uh, but I put a new supply hose, a ball cock, a Pro 45, and uh, Kohler original equipment uh, gasket for the tower. And uh, that's it, man. That's all I did. Made sure it was adjusted right, and I'm down the road. Let me know how much you, you charge for that. I'd be interested to know. Especially in other parts of the country. See that place, Miller's Ale House? I went in there the other night. I realized I'm not getting enough protein in my diet. I stopped eating like steak and uh, don't eat a lot of chicken anymore. Uh, but I need that protein, man. I'm like, uh, I can see I'm losing muscle mass. And so I went in there the other night and had a... Um, what the hell kind of steak was it? Man, I was just thinking of it. Ribeye. I had a ribeye steak with some steamed veggies and a baked potato. And man, I swear, that's the first time I've had a real a steak dinner since like when COVID started. I just stopped buying the shit when the price went up. I was like, I know it's bad for me anyways. So that's good enough reason for me to stop. But I do need some protein in my diet. I don't need to be eating it every day in, in mass amounts. But uh, that was a nice dinner, man. 
good deal too. And then after I did that, I got a Caesar's, a huge Caesar salad, which was really good. I tried to get some veggies in me. Baked potato was delicious. And uh, I don't know, maybe once a week, get a. Uh, get myself a little steak dinner small cut you know I mean I could eat one of those fucking caveman cuts but I don't need it it's not good and it's expensive as hell let's see here I'm just around the corner from my next job continue on center gate boulevard for one mile nice little neighborhood here man I wouldn't mind living in this section it's about a mile and a half from my house pretty good sized lots and big houses older neighborhood uh, I like it some really nice houses in here wow, that's cool. we have gotten some rain in the last couple of days guys that was a rolling California stop, Jackson, as they say. Mm -hmm. Lots of blue tarps, man, still. The insurance industry down here, they're just not paying out, man. People file claims and there's a lot of tops on roofs down here. These guys, they, it's corruption, blatant, obvious corruption. Let's see where the hell I am, man. I'm getting close now. is on the left. says 34 I don't know if I'm in the right place but we'll see all right guys we made it Let's see what we got here I don't think that works Uh, and it's a piece in there. Yeah, we'll get that out. Okay, that's and no problem. Have, um, and let me ask you, how hard would it be to install that shower tower here if I decide to get one? You gotta show me which one it is. Whatever you think would fit the best. What you, a shower tower, it's, you it mean for like handheld? It, both. It, it looks like this, like a little box, and then it has both, like a shower and then handheld on the side yeah i think if it connects to the top then that would work okay. yeah i'd be if able not, to do that. then can you do it from behind 
You let, let's. I'll, I want I'll you to you. show me yeah, what you you're talking show me about. The model will work. Yeah, give me an idea of what we're talking I'll about. And, uh, we don't have, uh, Mama. That. Oh, this is one that. Uh-huh. That's, that's the one that broke. Yes. Okay. And then uh, where's the one you want to put in? Well, this one will we can do for now, and you can tell me if shower tower would eventually okay. we can get that. But this is one I have, but I don't have the different one like this. Okay. Let me see. There may be enough threads on that. And uh, let me. Yeah. This was somebody was already. I mean, I did a piece, but I saw that somebody who ever lived here before us. You have a beautiful place here. Wow. Thank you. This is a uh, nice and cool and shady. All right, and this one, I actually went for wine and uh, oh boy. So right now, taking a shower is crazy. Sorry. Uh, all right, I had to put this on the flap. I didn't have to take yesterday. But this one, I ordered the new one. Yeah. A totally new one. And uh, I ordered this piece inside because this is very hard to turn. Right. And somebody said you need a new whatever. cartridge. Do and you I know what brand it. this is? I did. I ordered it. Uh, Fry, Price Fisher? Yeah, Fister? Price Vista. Okay. It's another crazy So, one. what do you want me to do with this okay, now? So this, now? Now, no, but I'm going to get a shower head, and I don't know, I don't know if anything else needs to be done, and then I'm going to need the cartridge. Yeah, I'll price. put the cartridge in for and, you. And uh, it does have the little handle, but it's okay. And this is loose. If you can. Uh, with passages that I need to go okay. around with a shower head. So. Okay. It's from Amazon, actually. That's the only place I could find it. From crazy? Amazon, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it's tough getting parts for that well, stuff. Luckily, somebody saved the brochure. The lady was here. So I knew what I was going to do. Yeah, oh. I told him. The cartridge. Okay. All right, let me go get a tool and see if okay. I can get that thing out. And I want to look at this. If I can put this back in, is that good? If you if it's gonna work, you know somebody was uh, somebody was already trying to do something to it because it had some tape when it when it opened. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure. I if think this will work. But if you think we'll it check works, it out. It's fine with Let me. me get some stuff. If it works. All right, guys. So I've got a a bunch of different tools. For, for easy outs I'm gonna try this one I've had this for a long time I honestly I, I don't think I ever used it but I've seen Steve Lav use his like this and man it seems to really work so I'm gonna take some pipe dope in I think I can reuse her uh, her head that's I mean the that arm that's in there because I don't stock anything even close to that uh, I'm gonna take some pipe dope a couple crescent wrenches channel locks and see if I can't get get that shower fixed and she's got some other stuff going on that's uh, price Vista which is gonna be a challenge I don't do Price Vista, hardly ever. So I'm gonna take all of this. I need this. Take that. Don't think I need that. These can go back. Garbage, garbage, pool, that's good, old style. I'll be honest, this thing looked fairly new, but I put a new one in anyways. I'll save it for a rainy day. Someday I may get caught without anything. And uh, better than nothing. So this is all garbage. I need this, this some WD-40, a rag, some Teflon. A 
couple rags and one more. All right, so let's go see. See if I can get that nipple out. She's got a hybrid, one of those uh, Wi-Fi heaters in here. Probably fairly new. I'll show you the model that I had in mind, and uh, after that you can tell me if this is something. Okay. Considering. Okay. <laughs> a coffee, Let me, water, coffee, anything? Water. Uh, I'll take a steak. You guys got any steak? Actually, I'll do the steak for it. So I'm kidding. <laughs> I will, then I'll desperately take a shower, so I'll take a steak. Yeah, like, I'll give you anything. Just give beer, me a shower. Beer, beer from, you, from Serbia. In oh, wow. Country, you can give beer. You always offer beer in Serbia's house. Wow. Because they do have beer. You don't want to give them the beer too early. <laughs> I know. You want to make sure they can finish the job. Any coin? That it took me a while when I first moved here a long time ago, 30 years ago. I used to offer people say, oh, and they were looking at me like, what? And yeah. then I realized, no, 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 we don't do that here. <laughs> but that was it. I don't have any name. We have a ladder here, a small one. No, I don't think I need it. Oh, okay. I'm hoping this guy Excuse works. Excuse that uh, take that was me trying to. Whatever. <laughs> so You're trying to fix it yourself? I tried. I it's mean, for you. I always try. There's nothing wrong with that, right? No, I try. Good for you. I mean, that's not something I can do, you know. I, I can maybe just put a patch on it, you know, but... Uh-huh. Definitely not something I can do. <laughs> well, the other one, it's coming tomorrow. So that, that it's, uh, I'll show him. We should have the right part. The okay. stuff's coming tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know what time. Let me see. Here it is. Tomorrow so by 10, uh, so that means Wednesday probably. I'll show you what. So you can see that's what I I just went by model and I know that... Uh, oh, my mom is curious. She looked, like what we were trying to do. Because you just want me for a bottle. We tried. <laughs> that's why we love you. Both of you? <laughs> oh, yeah, my grandma. Oh, grandma jumps on the ladder. There she goes. Nothing stops her. No problem. Nope, nothing stops me much. You got, you just gotta have the right tools. And then we got a handyman that usually helps with the electricity. And then he was like, oh, I can do that. And he was like, so he came and he was just trying and trying and trying. He's like, oh, I'm going to go deep, but I need it fine. I was like, oh no, I said, just forget it. I said, uh, Abel, you stick with balls. <laughs> just leave the thing over there. Because he was like, that can't be done. It's a oh. Short oh, wow, see? Uh, wow, that's a professional. See? Yes. My mom was like, oh, you should have just called right to it. I was like, Abel said he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he spent an hour trying to give us some orange tool. And he yeah, come out. it's difficult. It can be very difficult. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's like from our country, women. Try to do everything themselves. Too. That's good. It is. It's like Not in America. The, in America, the male, they call somebody. Even the male, like what they call male. Yeah. <laughs> we do it. Everything. Yeah. Try. <laughs> try. I'm not sure it's gonna be done well, but. Hey, well, we should you try it. You know, you do the plumbing. <laughs> you have the drive. Uh, well, try. YouTube helps. Yes. I want to say uh, what I had to do a um, long time ago, I had to change the, what is the thing that converts the water from shower to one that goes down. I went on YouTube and I was like, oh, okay, this is not that bad. <laughs> you changed the spout? Yes. And I was like, wow. Good for I'm you. not handy at all, so. Well, at least you try. I do. I mean, I, I look it up and, you know, something. At least exactly. you know what needs to be done when you call somebody. Oh yeah, so then you're going to say, hey, this is what you need, and this one needs to be done. So I think this is going to work for you. I think there's plenty of threads left on this. But I think somebody was messing with it before us, because I saw something was kind of connected with thread or something, I'm not sure. 
And the problem is sure that I it's playing with it, so. the problem is it's very very long. If you need the ladder, I can give it to you. No. Wow, see, that's how it came out. So it's not true that it cannot come out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't know. Well, they actually will mess with more if they try to get it out, but they don't know how. Don't mess with the. Yeah, they could break it. Yes! All right, let me. Uh... I'm going to go outside. Yes. Yeah. I'm Toilet forces. Oh, yes, stuff. I'm a I'm a plumbing contractor. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's my calling. Oh, wow. Well, when, when you hear me saying yeah, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> That means I'm really trying for you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. That's going to be good. Let me get that other piece. I'll put the instruction on in the shower head. Where is that shower head? Oh, it's right here. Actually, I kind of like it that it's shorter. Yeah. Because the long one. Well, the long one, it, you can, if you like touch son, it, you don't wait. I have a 12 year old who's wild. Yeah. He keeps, look, this is It's shorter. too much leverage. Oh, it's really good. Oh, you got too much leverage. Yeah, but it's yeah, but see it's shorter, I like that. Yeah, see it's shorter. What is that? Yeah, I think you hear more. You don't hear that often. I don't know. Can it be moved forward or no? Yeah, probably. Like, like that? Uh, uh, like oh, uh, cool. down. down? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. much the top. yeah. Oh, yes. uh, I think yeah. this is better. Yeah, I like it better than the big one. Yeah. More good boy can catch. More yes, but for the other one. Yeah. 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 All right, let's see if, it, if it's working. How do you how do you oh, operate that? Body, body. Oh, don't wanna spray you. Okay, we go. 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 Yeah, I know. This is like wow. Yeah, it was forty bucks or something. It's no, it's no, it doesn't. No, that's when I do it. <laughs> yeah. Got a bunch of different styles. I think that's good for this size shower. I think it works good. Good, yeah. Okay? You don't hear that too often, guys. I like the short one. I like the short one better. Mm. Get one of them women. Easy peasy. So pretty much, uh, All right, let's go see the other one. All right. Well, the other one is going to arrive. Um, okay, we'll do that tomorrow uh, or the it next says day. tomorrow by 10th. It's probably not going to arrive. Yeah, not sometime this week then. Yes, is that the right? Oh, how much do you Oh, it's 150. I'm not charging you for the part that I put in. Okay.
John Phillips Plumbing. Okay. And then I want to look at that stuff online. You show me a picture okay. of it and I'll let you know if it'll work. Try to stay away from Price Vista in the future. <laughs> Seriously. What is the name? Price Vista faucets. Oh. Yeah, you want I know I didn't put them in. Yeah, yeah. You wanna you wanna go with uh like Moen or yes. Delta Coal or something like yep. that. Price Vista's Yeah, no. Not no. as good. Somebody, whoever lived here, better just make it. This is a house. very beautiful house. Thank you. How long have you been here? Uh two years. Nice. Today's the tenth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mama, you okay? Okay. You happy? For my grandson. Yes. I for my grandson, uh, he likes the height. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. that's better. Uh huh. All right. Good. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. And then uh, I you wanted to this? show you the... Whoops. Hi, guys. So I'm done here at this house with this shower uh, situation. She was very happy to get it fixed. Uh, I guess they had some other guy here, a handyman. And he wasn't able to get that thing out uh, it's pretty simple when you have the right tools I have easy outs uh, I've got an easy out that I trimmed the end off of uh, so that it can go in deep enough to grab that little nipple the part that's broken off but that up the tool I used today I've had it for years and never used it but I I watched a video and Steve Lav used his and it just comes out like butter man uh, sometimes the easy out depending on how deep that L is in the wall uh, it can be an issue you know and uh, that it just seemed to work great I'm gonna try to get a couple more of them uh, three-quarter and one inch I know they're out there it's just a matter of finding them and uh, this woman she's a Craigslist not a Craigslist a uh, next door you know those apps where people get on and they they highly recommend somebody if they did a good job well I'm on this this thing called next door and I get a lot of calls from people because I come highly recommended and uh, I appreciate it uh, she's got some stuff she wants to put like a module uh, shower module with some body sprays and all that stuff uh, in that shower I think it will work good because uh, I believe the shower handle uh, is offset it's not centered uh, it's to the right of center and I believe this module will just fit right in there and it's usually just one one connection to the old shower head and uh, and then the controls would be on that module to change to body sprays and all that other shit so uh, we'll see she's gonna order all that stuff it sounds like she likes buying stuff online um, but I'm going to go head over and try to get this other woman's house, uh, squared away, this leak under a kitchen sink, and, uh, that'll probably do it for me today, but in the meantime, I'm going to stop at my house to see how these guys are doing with the cleanup.